Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, today we have corn that's ready to harvest. So let's get our harvester set up. Get our corn header on, drive over, start harvesting. That's why I left the, uh, the trailer attached to the tractor there. We should have just enough room to drop this in here. Yeah. Set that down, swap these heads around, and then once we harvest the corn out of there, we can fold that new field that we bought last time into the grass fields, because that'll be our last grass field. A little corn harvester, but it should be a little corn field, so that shouldn't matter too much. I'm excited. I think this is the first corn... Yeah, this is the first corn we've done. We did wheat and oats, I think was what was on that other field. We have, it's August, we have, do, 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 uh, I guess next month, if we wanted to keep it as wheat and oat. If we want to keep those as wheat and oat, we can plant them next month. So for this month, It'll be harvest, and then we need, have some plowing we're going to need to do. Because the last field we turned into grass, and this new field that we're going to turn into grass, both need to be plowed. And then once those are plowed and planted and fully limed and everything, um, and we harvest grass off of all of the fields, we can then uh, mulch that entire grass field in between harvests and then that'll have the mulch state and it should be producing full yield grass at that point but the most silage we can get off of those fields that'll be good and this should be the last field on the left i think just past those trees yeah one just past those trees there. If we're going to have an easy time getting in there or not. Oh yeah, shouldn't be bad. Wonder. What I might do is go and get rid of this hedgerow over on this end first and foremost before we even get started because we know we're going to take it down. Go. Yeah, we can drop this hedgerow right down. That'll make turning on this end of the field a little easier. And I want to see what's going on between this field and the field to the north. Because there's some trees there, but I don't know that we want to get rid of the trees. We may leave them. Just plant and plow around them. I want to get rid of the hedges and see what it looks like at that point. See how much of an obstacle we're going to end up actually being a few more of these to do. I take out pretty big sections at a time. Grass field's looking pretty nice. It's got to be almost ready to harvest, right? Well, I guess it's got two months before full harvest. We may... Yeah, I guess we got planting to do next month, so it would make sense to harvest everything following month. to trying to cram everything into one month and I've been thinking about the trees over there what we could do is while we're doing all this if we run into months that we don't have a lot of stuff going on everything's planted and growing grass doesn't need harvesting you know any of that we can lease that land instead of trying to save up the money to buy it. You know, we may want to just cut these trees down. There's only a few of them. They don't make a very pretty line. But if we lease that land, then I think it'll cost us like $5,000 a month. 
So as long as we take more than that in wood off in a month, in lumber, it would um, would be well worth it, I think. Instead of trying to save up the several hundred thousand dollars to buy it outright. Uh, let's leave these for now. We'll come back and get them. They're going to be in the way of the harvester, but maybe we'll uh, actually harvest it this way. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a plan. We got an idea what's going on. So let me get this started up and get this corn harvested. And then we'll figure out from there how we're going to fold this in. I think we are going to get rid of those trees and then we'll get this area replanted with grass. I will see you soon. Okay, so we got 7,001 liters off of that cornfield, and it seems the Grocery Mart will pay the best price for it. Let's go ahead and deliver it here, see what we get. We should get, what, like $6,000 or something from this? $6,395. Beautiful. So now what I think we're going to do is uh, want to get rid of those trees. We already have a chainsaw. So what we need is a trailer to transport them and a log grapple for our front loader. So we can load them onto the trailer. So I'll get this back to the farm and we'll see what we can do about all that I think I'm just gonna have it delivered to the farm to save us driving back and forth all day we'll get those trees cut down loaded up figure out where we can sell them what's wood look like uh, sawmill we'll have to figure out where the sawmill is I think the sawmills over around on that island on that little trail that we went down into the woods. I think we went to, what was it, the biomass heating 
Land or something was back there as well. So figure that out. We're coming up on the farm now. Oh, we also have a whole bunch of straw to bale in our outfield there. So many things to do, so little time. None of it making us enough money to start our logging empire. But I guess if we are cutting down trees, it's the very beginnings of our logging empire, right? Even though it's just a couple of trees on our field. Not really like forest full of trees. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Ooh, all in there, right? You back this up so I can see where that is. Drop that off. All right. Now, turn you up. Let's make sure deliveries will come here. And what we need is front loader tool. Going to get a grab. There you are, log fork, three grand, 15,000. Buy that. I will be able to load things. And let's see what we get for trailer. I want to say that's get it. Uh, at this Let's look at. There's one of the. Yeah, this. This one here. Fairly cheap, yet still decently large. Wide or narrow. To the key tire. That's not bad. Uh, back fender, light cover, apron, standard. Too wide. Original. We'll go with original. Hatcher, standard. What's a trailer hitch? Add that trailer hitch just in case we need to tow something behind it or we want to get two. And how much would you charge us to? Oh, not very much at all. That's the hub color. That doesn't much matter. Body color. Let's go. Do you got a bright orange? Graphic red. $25. That'll work. Frame color. No black. Frame color is fine. Okay. That's the original. Okay, great. That's fine. Five hundred ninety, so three thousand nine hundred and thirty-three. I think that good. So hook up to these, and then we'll go over and uh, cut those trees down. Wonder, I think there was only what, like five trees, maybe. So we should be able to fit it all in the trailer at once, hopefully. Oop. Get that up and out of the way. Look up to this guy. Crank ourselves around in a little knot. There we go. Go get those trees off the field. And then we gotta figure out about plowing the new field and the last field that we did because that has the needs plowed state too and I don't want to leave them like that I'd rather just get them plowed get it done and then not have to worry about it since we're going to need to come over here and plant the new field anyway might as well do it now and then plant the whole thing at once replant the last field and plant this field all at one time do, 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 do. Can we swing it? 
throw the can. Yeah, tons of room. All right. Drop this like here. There it goes. Turn this off for a minute. Let's get to cutting trees down. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there is five. Look at me go being able to count. I am going to just chainsaw these uh, stumps out of the way. Once we get into logging, logging, we'll get a stump grinder. Oh, do you, your branches not want to come off at all? It's going to be garbage. This is going to be hot garbage. Well, they're pretty big, though. All right, let me let me go ahead and get these all cut up, and I'll see you when we start loading them. issue sometimes with trees that aren't really um, designed for logging where the limbs will be weird as all hell they won't act quite right but we've got them all delimbed good Get these up and on this trailer too much difficult open left them all pretty long I think four to five or right about eight meters just want to not have it hang off the front too much open it up down let go Those. Okay. There's limb number one. I don't think we're going to make very much money off of these at all, but that's okay. We need to get them off our field anyway. Better to sell them than just throw them away, I guess. Plus, we're going to need all this equipment when we lease the forest next door. So it was a good idea to buy it. We'll get up over that. Go. Let's see about these short guys. Near you. Back up 
to where we want to be. Yeah, that'll work. We have to figure out where we can sell it. Sell no is. Make a couple bucks. Hopefully enough to at least pay for the trailer and or gravel. If not, they'll pay for themselves soon enough. Good enough for all these sloppy scrap trees. Yeah, get up and then let's see. Sawmill by far most. Except here, yeah, it's one up here in the very end. All right, all right. So I'll drive up there and I'll meet you up at the sawmill. To this point, we can turn it back. We will sell our wood $1,199. Eh, couldn't really expect more from a couple little junk trees, but we made a little bit of our money back. That's good. Let me unpack this. You. Okay, so now I'm going to drive back to the farm and we're going to grab our, what do we have, a subsoiler? For sale. Nothing. Now I have a... I have to figure out... Rent up. Better. Okay, yeah, let's get over there and then we'll look and see what we can get so we can clear that plowed state off of those fields and get ready to plant grass seed. Meet you back at the farm. Okay, so here we are. We need something 
get rid of that plowed. Give it a plowed. Plows. 130 horsepower. Any horsepower. Five. What we got is a subsoiler. Eight meters. Eight meters. Use instead of a plow directly. Plow and see. Ten thousand. That work that way. We can find out. We can find out. So how much are you to leave? Eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. We'll get that hooked up. We'll throw some uh, feed in it. I don't know if we still have any in our um, pile there or not. I think it was this one, right? This one would be seen. I don't remember which one's which. The so and. Air filling. We need five hundred liters. A thousand. A thousand. Yeah, for less than a thousand bucks. Buy that. Okay. Now let's fill this all the rest of the way up. Five hundred liters is what it takes. We close it. We're on grass. So. Yeah, I guess we will see. What do we have for options? Turn on. Flex seed. We don't have to unfold it or anything. Turn it on and drop it down and drive in a circle. We'll see if that actually gets rid of the plow state and plants the grass seed. That would be cool. Two steps in one. Love multitasking. Oh, a little bit of a wheelie on the corner there. Thing must be heavy. Thought about putting the weight on the front, but I think once it's down and we're dragging it, it'll be fine. All right, so let's just. I guess we can start like right here. So if we pull up our map, are here. Oop -a -doop -a -doop. Map, go to this one. Those need it. So, we, let's start out in the middle, just so we can see if it's actually working functionally. We'll turn it on, drop it down, start driving. Let's turn it off, look at our map. That says needs rolling. No longer needs plowing. Good. Growing grass. Heck yes. This works perfect. Beautiful. All right. Well, I will go ahead. Let's uh, let's back up and see where this edge over here is. If we can figure out where are we have. Delineation in the grass, it really isn't. Uh, something like here. Okay, that's a little too far. This goofed up stuff is. So if we start here, just want to do a lap real quick. 
Make sure we encircle the entire area that needs plowing. Come out fairly straight-ish. Come over. We're going to need to get some at that corner, I believe. That'll be fine. Just trying to do like a general outline. And if we need to expand that a little bit, then we do. We'll be fine. Uh, okay. So, we do need something else. Because this cannot create fields. Alright, so let's drop this here. No. Drop that. Put our store over here. Let's grab a regular sub -sister. Take We rent the ECU for $535. Should be able to do that to plow the headlands here. And then go back over everything with that one. We'll, we'll do some testing. Well, this Y allow create fields. Get right up in here. Drop it down. That'll get rid of the headlands. Just this right over here. Okay, right back to where we just were. Do a quick test. Good work, though. Because now that that's better to feel, our planter guy there should plant fine. Drop this over here. Up to that one there. Turn it on, drop it down. Giving that same texture that I had been giving. No. Buddy, our map. Alright, so that doesn't need plowed. Rolling, though, which is fine. We do need to come way out. Also fine. Just planting. Yarp. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, let me keep going with this. I'll get rid of the headlands. Then, we'll finish planting and everything. And, I will see you when we're done with that.
Okay, so got rid of the needs plowed state. Need a little bit of lime. One spot that needs plowed. Let's go get that. Mostly fertilized, so we'll leave fertilized. Won't mess with that. Need lime in a couple of spots where the headlands were. We need to go plow that one little spot. If we can find that spot. Could be over here, so. Not immediately jumping out at me. That little line in the dirt there. Crap. I think it's back where we were. Did we get it? We got it. Okay. So that's it for plowing. Everything should be planted. Yes. Planted with grass. Um, right. Good. I'm happy with that. Put that right there. Go ahead and... Like that. Let me just first. pull that right through, pick it up, then we can drop this off the field. There we go. Yes, so our entire field, let me reset that. All right, so. Time is that little bit. Rolling is the entire thing we did. Fertilizing is fine. That'll come as we roll between doing it. And everything is planted. All right. I am happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and return both of these. Turn you. Okay. And then I think we're going to call that a day. The next time we'll roll this, we'll lime the little bit that needs it, and we'll roll it. And uh, then we have straw to collect, and then it'll be time to sow seeds on our wheat and our oat fields. Awesome. Lots of stuff done today. Feeling good about it. Very good. And then once we get to the winter time and everything's growing, we're going to start working on those guys over there. Heck yeah. All right. But... That'll be it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.